All right, so enough with the mock-ups, enough with talking about what our application is going to do. It's time to actually talk about how we're going to build it, how we're going to actually write some code to make all this stuff happen. Now, to kind of kick off this process, I want to tell you a little bit about the tech stack that we're going to be using and how it's all going to be communicating together. This is going to be the first of many talks that we have about the overall architecture of our application or how all these different components and technologies are going to communicate. If you're here taking this course right now, chances are you've tried to find resources previously to figure out exactly how to get React to work with Express, or how to get React to work with MongoDB, or Express with MongoDB. I found over time that there's a lot of content specifically around like how to use React, like a course on how to use React, or a course on how to use Redux, or a course on how to use Express, but it seems like there's really not a con lot of content out there that tells you how to use all these different technologies together. And so that's going to be the primary concern of this course. I want you to walk away having a really good idea of how all these different pieces work together to make a real application. That's going to be just goal number one for me through in, the, in this course. So again, this is going to be the first of many talks where we discuss the overall architecture of our application. OK, so with that in mind, Let's get through this diagram really quick. Whenever a user navigates inside of their browser to our domain, say emaily.com, we are going to send them back an HTML document and some JavaScript files that contain a React application. So when a user goes to emaily.com, we're going to send them some files that will get some content or some HTML to appear on the screen. That's going to be the React side of our application. Now, the React side of our application doesn't really know exactly what to show to the user. It needs some amount of data to show the right stuff, right? Like if we want to show the user a list of surveys or campaigns that they've sent out, the React side of our application has to get this information from somewhere. In our application, we are going to use MongoDB to record and store all the different surveys and all the different emails that we send out to people over time. And so one of the chief problems inside of our application, or one of the big problems that we're going to learn how to solve is to communicate effectively all the data that we store inside of our MongoDB database with our React application. Now, the React application that we're going to put together is never going to talk directly to the MongoDB database. Instead, we're going to put an Express API between React and MongoDB. This Express API is going to contain a bunch of logic, a bunch of business logic, to take incoming requests from the React application, pull some information out of our MongoDB database, and then send that information back to the React side of our app. So essentially, you can imagine that a user visits emaily.com inside their browser. We send them the React application. The React application boots up. It asks the Express API for some data. The Express API pulls some information out of the MongoDB database, and then it sends that all back to the React application, where it is then used to, to show some content on the screen or show some content to the user. Now, the Express API and the React application are going to be communicating entirely through HTTP requests or AJAX requests. Every single one of these requests is going to contain some little amount of JSON. The Express API and MongoDB, on the other hand, will be communicating through a little bit more internal system of communication that we're not going to quite touch so much, but we will uh, discuss it a little bit over time. OK, so again, just a very high level overview of how our application is going to be laid out and how these things are going to be talking together. Really, at the end of the day, what I want to communicate right now is that our React application will not talk directly to the MongoDB database. Instead, there's going to be this Express API sitting between the two. So I think that's enough on kind of high-level overview for right now. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to start our project by generating a new Express application. So we're going to start with the Express side and then kind of figure out where to go from there. So I'll see you in the next section.